Hello guys, when will World War 3 happen? Are the conditions for it already in place? Where will it start? Stay with me for the answers to learn more. So let's go. Taiwan versus China. Taiwan is an island country in East Asia. It has a democratic system and an advanced, export-oriented economy. China is a large economic, political, and military power in East Asia. This populous country has a communist party-led government and a market-based economy that is rapidly progressing. The tensions between China and Taiwan trace back to the Chinese Civil War 1945 to 1949. After the communist forces' victory in China, the government of the Republic of China fled to Taiwan and became the Republic of China. Since then, China has claimed that that Taiwan is part of its territory and has the right to control it. This claim has created tensions and concerns in the region. Many countries, including the United States, recognize Taiwan as an independent country and support it. Factors that could lead the tensions to escalate into World War III continued tensions and lack of agreement on Taiwan's status. Involvement of major global powers lack of consensus on regional policies. The tensions between China and Taiwan, if uncontrolled, could lead to the U.S. as Taiwan's ally, intervening to defend Taiwan, potentially resulting in World War III. Iran versus Israel Iran is a country with a rich civilization and culture in the Middle East. After the Islamic Revolution in 1979, it has been governed by an Islamic Republic. Israel is a country in the Middle East with its capital in Jerusalem, which has attracted a large population of Jewish people. The ideological differences, the dispute over Palestine, regional competition, and Iran's nuclear program are the main factors contributing to the conflict between Iran and Israel. These tensions continue to maintain a state of heightened tension between the two countries. If Iran and Israel interact incorrectly with major powers such as the United States and Russia, escalating the tensions to the international level and provoking them, this could lead to World War III. If Iran and Israel fail to reach an agreement on regional issues such as Syria, Lebanon, and Yemen and continue to perpetually escalate the tensions, this could also lead to World War III. China versus India India is a vast and populous country in South Asia with immense cultural, linguistic, and religious diversity. The tensions between India and China have arisen due to border and political issues in the Kashmir and Tibet regions. These tensions have led to military aggression in the past. In 2020, the tensions between the two countries escalated significantly and led to a deadly clash in the Himalayan region, inflicting casualties on both sides. The tensions between India and China could escalate into World War III if major powers such as the United States and Russia intervene in the region and exacerbate the tensions. If India and China were to use nuclear weapons on a large scale, it could lead to World War III. Azerbaijan versus Armenia Azerbaijan is a country in the Caucasus with its capital in Baku. It is a Muslim population and diverse culture. It has beautiful natural landscapes, ancient history, and a strong political position. Armenia is a country in the Caucasus with its capital in Yerevan. It has a rich culture and long history. It has beautiful scenery, unique tourist attractions, and a dispersed population. Ethnic tensions between Azerbaijanis and Armenians in the Nagorno-Karabakh region exist due to cultural, historical, and ethnic differences. Azerbaijan and Armenia were previously involved in the Nagorno-Karabakh Wars in 1988 to 1994 and the Second Nagorno-Karabakh War in 2020. These wars have shown that tensions can rapidly escalate into military conflicts. The intertwining of interests of major global powers in the Nagorno-Karabakh region can exacerbate the tensions some major global powers, including Russia, Turkey, and Israel, have influence in this region. The presence of sensitive border areas and issues related to human rights, autonomy, and ethnic divisions in the Nagorno-Karabakh region can also contribute to increased tensions. 
Palestine versus Israel Palestine is a country in the Middle East with its capital in Jerusalem and a rich cultural and historical background. It has a diverse population of Muslims, Christians, and Jews, and it has drawn the attention of many countries due to its political situation. The longest running tension between the countries of the world is the tension between Israel and Palestine over Palestinian land. The tensions between these two sides can have more widespread and negative consequences in the region and the world. The continuation of tensions between Israel and Palestine can lead to the escalation of instability and unrest in the region. This can result in increased tensions and confrontations between other countries and groups associated with this region. Perhaps the only existing solution is the establishment of an independent Palestinian state in order to preserve the rights of Palestinian citizens. North Korea versus South Korea North Korea is a communist country on the Korean Peninsula. It has an authoritarian and centralized government that focuses on nuclear programs and military development. South Korea is an advanced country in East Asia, recognized as one of the world's leading economies. The tensions between South Korea and North Korea are currently one of the major issues in global politics. After the Korean War in the 1950s, South Korea and North Korea became two independent countries. Since then, the relationship between the two countries has always experienced tensions and conflicts. North Korea continuously develops its nuclear and missile programs, which has caused concerns and provocation in South Korea and the international community. South Korea's focus on strengthening its military forces and its cooperation with its allies, including the United States, Japan, and Australia, has also increased the tensions. Factors that could lead the tensions to escalate into World War III, North Korea's nuclear weapons. Any military aggression or attack by either side continued international sanctions against North Korea, military accidents, lack of Agreement in Negotiations Russia versus Ukraine Russia is one of the largest countries in the world with its capital in Moscow and a vast cultural diversity. Ukraine is a country in Eastern Europe with its capital in Kiev, which gained independence from the Soviet Union in the late 1990s. The tension between Russia and Ukraine has currently created concerns around the world. In February 2022, Russia launched a large-scale invasion of Ukraine with the aim of taking complete control of the country. This action led to an extensive military conflict between Russia and Ukraine that is still ongoing. Among the factors contributing to the conflict between Russia and Ukraine are Ukraine's orientation towards the West, Russia's efforts to maintain its influence in the region, and geopolitical differences. These factors have resulted in multiple military confrontations, particularly the current war. Factors that could potentially lead the tension between Russia and Ukraine to escalate into a third world war, intervention by major powers such as the United States, Russia, China, and the European Union, lack of international agreement and coordination between countries and international organizations. Lebanon versus Israel Lebanon is a country in the Middle East with a very rich cultural and historical background. Its capital is Beirut, and it has a diverse population including Muslims, Christians, and other groups. The tension between Israel and Lebanon has currently raised serious concerns. Among the international community, the tension between Israel and Lebanon has arisen for various historical, political, and security reasons. Among the important factors, one can refer to the 2006 Lebanon War, Hezbollah's missile attacks on Israel and the continued threats from both sides. Hezbollah Lebanon, a Lebanese Shiite group, is considered one of the main factors of tension between Israel and Lebanon. This group has the capability to attack Israel and has engaged in war with Israel in the past. If the conflict continues, the involvement of countries such as Iran, Iraq, Yemen, Syria, and the United States is likely, in which case this tension could escalate into a global war.